I'm Sarah Castle, a director and co-founder of the architecture practice IFDU. This video forms part of the London Festival of Architecture's project 30 Objects in 30 Days and my nomination for an object that represents power in architecture is this table. In this pho photograph taken last summer, the table is located on a site in Enfield at a summer party to mark the commencement of a project for a new community centre on that site. For me, this table is representative of something more than a piece of outdoor furniture. It's a key piece of infrastructure facilitating a moment of gathering and communal activity, a moment where people have come together to share their hopes and visions for a place in which they live. It's the beginnings of a community-led development. A recent Future of London report found that government and the GLA had identified a pipeline of almost 17,000 community-led homes across England. There are around 300 community land trusts in the UK and there are numerous small scale community schemes from enterprise hubs and community centres to kitchens, farms and gardens. And these community led development projects can make a real difference to the people that live near them. Community led development focuses on empowering communities. It's the process of working together to create and achieve locally owned visions and goals and allows people to participate in and feel ownership in the development of the built environment around them. We do not at present live in a society in which the built environment serves all equally and the COVID-19 pandemic has only amplified existing inequalities and injustices. Less affluent families have found themselves struggling through lockdown in poor quality accommodation with little outdoor space. Sadly, traditional top-down approaches to development can result in little or no change for the people who most need it. Where a traditional approach to development may look for gaps and vulnerabilities, a community-led approach identifies the strengths, assets and capacities that communities possess. It utilises the rich resource in gifts and skills inherent in local residents and focuses these to create a built environment which is more equal and accessible to all. Successful community schemes need strong local support, but also a collaborative and creative approach from the architect. One which places people at the centre, one which brings communities together around that table, creating the space and encouragement for people to thrive, to further social cohesion and to create their own future.